Howdy, everybody. Thanks for tuning in for another cruise. Uh, hope y'all are doing okay with all this. So, I know everybody, myself included, has been preoccupied and talking about coronavirus. And I'm getting tired of it. So, just to put another topic on the mind for a few minutes, I'm going to talk about something different. Um, I want to talk about the 2020 election. It looks like, and I, no one has been, uh, it, the 2020 election hasn't been on the news that much. I know that, uh, Bernie Sanders, uh, just dropped out of the race, uh, week, I want to say. Don't ask me when. I forget. But I'm pretty sure he dropped out one day last week. So, I know he's out. I know Warren is out. I know half the back half of the pack has thinned out. So, in all likelihood, the Democratic presidential nominee is going to be Biden for 2020. Now, I want to talk to some people about it. I want to talk to y'all about this and just kind of give my thoughts. Um, I don't think he can do it. And it has nothing to do with his politics or his policies. I can agree or disagree with those based on merit and perceived value enough. But if Biden became the president in or became the presidential nominee in 2020, I don't think that he could handle a full term. I know that there are rumors circulating about his mental acuity and health having been around a few people that have had amnesia, dementia, Alzheimer's, things like that. In my humble opinion, he's definitely uh, showing some of the the telltale signs and in my opinion if his, the one, the person I got to spend the most time around was my grandmother she had it for let me think nearly 10 years I'm thinking if not a little longer and if If I'm remembering correctly, and if his case of dementia or Alzheimer's, if he has it, follows my grandmother's case of dementia or Alzheimer's, he is in the, he's halfway through the early onset. In my opinion, if you were to be around Joe Biden for any length of time, uh, if you hung out with Joe Biden for a week as a, an aide, a friend, a campaign manager, whatever, you would be refreshing him on conversations that you had. He would be asking the same questions over and over again. He would remember who you were. Um... So, if you want an all-expenses-paid week to, to hang out with the Bidens at their residence, uh, he would remember who you were the whole time that you were the winner. Uh, if, he remember, if he was good at remembering names before, he probably would remember your name. But, in my opinion, he's on a downhill slope with this. And... If you look at him from 
when he was on the campaign trail for the VP slot in 2012 with Obama, he's deteriorated quite a bit. His mental acuity, his memory are just not there. So, uh, I'm not saying this to be mean. It, it Seeing someone with dementia or Alzheimer's is truly heartbreaking. Um, when my grandmother had it, some of her, I don't remember the relations. I want to say it was her nephew uh, would not come in the house to see her after she got to a certain point because he would rather remember her the way she was than seeing her the way she was at the the way she was when she was healthy versus seeing her the way she was in her declined state. Um, people forget who they are. They forget who you are. They forget where they are. They forget people that have died. They forget uh, that they've eaten. They forget everything eventually. They forget to take medication. Um, one time, my grandmother forgot where the bathroom was. The bathroom door had been shut. She forgot which one it was. Walked all the way into the kitchen. There was a chair in the kitchen, and that's what—that's where she did her business. I remember my dad spent a great deal of time with my grandmother when she was ill with Alzheimer's, and it was very taxing on him to do that emotionally. So, I'm not trying to sound callous, but I don't think that Joe Biden has a term of being president in him mental from a mental perspective. I don't think he could do it. I think that based on everything that uh, you hear about the president's day-to-day -day activities, briefings, and reports that come in, and all in my opinion, even though it might not be down to the, the small detail, the president gets bombarded with the most overall information. Like, if there was a situation brewing somewhere in the Middle East, the president might not get all the details, but he'll get the, the summary report, and then the summary report of this, that, and the other. So he gets bombarded with a ton of information on a daily basis. I doubt that Biden could keep it all straight. I don't think that he could. He's showing too many signs of this. Um, when my grandmother, well, my granddad on my dad's side, my papa, he died several years before my grandmother did. I want to say about eight, nine years. And there were times that she would ask where he was and you'd have to tell her that he passed that only a couple times she did that but we told her that he had passed away a couple years back and she didn't remember it and had to convince her of it broke her heart all over again. She didn't remember that he was cremated, had his ashes scattered um, at a specific spot on that farm that he had. That's where he wanted them. And She had also gotten 
combative at various times. Um, and just mean for the sake of being mean, which I don't know if this was Joe Biden, if there was a video that came out a while back where Joe Biden was uh, talking with some union workers and he got somewhat vocally combative. And I don't know if that was dementia or just who he was as a person, but it sure sounded like it to me. Having dealt with that and heard the stories of my grandmother, it definitely sounded that way. Um, I just don't think he's got it in him. I think that he is... When he made the decision to run, I think he had it in him, but things have changed. I don't think that... I don't think he's got four years' worth of uh, presidency left in him. And... Say what you want about Trump, but someone... But, <clears throat> but in my opinion, it's not the best idea for him to be running. And it being that for his mental health sake, or for the sake of his mental health not being able to cope with the job, that's really sad because I've seen what dementia does to, to the person and to the people around him. It's, uh, it's no joke, folks. It's pretty rough, and if you know of anyone that's dealt with that, you'll know what I'm talking about, and if you've seen anyone go through it long term, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, several, several, good grief, ten or so years back, and my dad was hyper vigilant about his, uh, memory and whatnot, having been around his mother, and he was not a forgetful man, by and large. He did deal with a lot of uh, stuff at his job, having to remember this, that, and the other, but he was not a forgetful man. Uh, sometimes... Like, he would have an interesting story or something he wanted to tell a bunch of people and he'd forget who all he told. And I was doing that at the time. But he'd think he was getting bad and he's like, man, if I ever get bad, I don't know if I could put y'all through that. I just don't know if I could. Because he knew what it did to him. And I remember when he got sick with cancer real bad, he was thankful that that's how he was going to go versus having the chance of uh, dementia and Alzheimer's. So it's uh, no fun way to go. And in my opinion, the identity, it's not brain death, but the identity of a person, who they were, their memories, their personality, their quirks, their humor, it all goes away and the brain becomes just a, something that keeps the, the lungs and the heart and other stuff going, it's as close to brain death, it's walking brain death in my opinion, that's the easiest way to put it, it's, it's terrible, so if, if this is the case with, uh, Joe Biden, I feel real sorry for his family because I know what they're going to, what they could go through with him. Because aside from uh, his mental health, he seems to be in decent enough physical condition. And so if his mental health deteriorates rapidly, they could have him where he's uh, in pretty rough shape mentally for a number of years. And that's what we had to deal with with my grandmother. And that was no fun. She was, uh, in a very bad way. So, 
that's my opinion on Joe Biden for 2020 policies and all that aside if you were literally just voting for someone to sit behind the resolute desk in the Oval Office if that's all they were going to do was sit behind there they weren't going to sign anything they weren't going to president they weren't going to go visit nobody they weren't going to make any TV speeches if you were just for someone just to sit behind that desk I don't think it could be Biden that's my opinion I'd love to hear yours uh, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you want to know when stuff goes up. Um, tomorrow night, I am planning on making the trek to go see my buddy Danny of the show I'm No Expert. We're going to be talking about uh, either capital punishment or gun legislation. Stuff that we disagree on quite a bit. <laughs> so, uh... I'll be putting links in when he gets them uploaded and when I get it sent to me. So, y'all take care. Stay safe. Uh, appreciate y'all tuning in for another Cruise of Smooth. Uh, try not to go crazy on lockdown. Love to hear from y'all in the comments. Take care.